not too likely to happen. I like that Sivir can spell shield a lot of the things that Urgot Annie can throw at Sivir. At the same time, she can get caught off guard by a stun. Yeah, definitely interesting. Very interesting possibilities. They are quite interesting. And this game is sure to be a slugfest. And why don't you guys keep on letting us, you, letting us know what you think. Hell Esports is the place to be. Hashtag EL win or UOL win. Point, because he's only sitting on that longsword right now. Meanwhile, though, this may open up a potential dragon for elements, but Dexter just moves right by it. Yeah, but they're setting up the vision right now. They're waiting for taps to push him bottom again. UL go for the cross map, and they go on JWoww. Yeah, they do. Kekis, they may be able to secure this one. Equalizer's thrown down. JWoww is in a lot of trouble, but Kekis is taking some damage, too. JWoww's giving him a run for their money, but I don't think he's going to be running for much longer. He will go down. That's first blood to Chachi, but quick to react. Elements are on the dragon. Back and spend that gold. They've got a dragon to contend with. Kekis is spotted out by the Prey Seeker from Dexter Dragon. Now live on the table. Scuttle Shrine in favor of Elements, and they have stacked four members here, both top laners, with their teleports available. How are Elements going to play this one out very conservatively for the time being. In comes Kikis, though. Teleport started by Visit Shot. The bear tippers. is down. Froggen is getting knocked into the team, and he's going down. Thrown in the equalizer. That's JWoww burning away, but Tabs will pick up Vardax, and the rest of the unicorns are starting to melt. There they go. Hilly is down. Vardax is down. Kikis and Power are safe. Chachi causing some havoc. JWoww, Sapling's down. Will that be enough? Dexter's now been turned on, but he's able to tunnel away to safety. Close calls all around. Chachi's still on the chase, but he has to back away. I think helped save the day, or rather helped uh, win the day more for his team. It was a big front line from Visit Chachi he was working with, but still. Now, elements have revealed themselves. There we go. On the hunt. They're looking for the unicorns. There is no power here. Vardax is the first to fall. Chachi now being chased out. Kikis had already gotten back to safety, but this mid tower is gone. And elements can keep pushing if they want. The Tibbers is down on Froggen. The barrel is going to knock him, but he will be able to flash out of danger. And Unicorns now looking to answer back, but all of a sudden their wave is gone. Tibbers is going down too. Unicorns of Love looking for some revenge here. Kick is finding Promise Q, but he will hook his way away. Now he's stunned. Now he's done. Kikis picks him up. He has to stay around mid, somehow farm up that way. He cannot leave this lane. And this, this is a serious problem with the way that they picked their comp, but we'll talk about that in a minute because Froggen is targeted out by the Unicorns. Kikis will get the kill for him. Dexter now being in the front of it all as it looks like we're going to have Tabs get the shutdown on the on Kikis and Hillisang going very, very low as Power of Evil provides some cover fire. And watch how Elements is moving around like this big death ball, bumping on the hunt, and they're going in. Looking for Kikis, but they're slowed down by the barrel from Kikis, and all of a sudden, Chachi comes in. He's found in the gravity field. Twisted advance onto Promise Q, but in comes a big equalizer from JWoww. Chachi burning down. He melts the bark off the tree, and so far, it's a one-for-one, one, but Dexter's caught out. Hyperkinetic position killed. A double kill for Power of Evil. Unicorns are now hungry to run down some elements even further. Frog has got a bailout. The living artillery flashing forward. Power of Evil, he's going to hunt him down. And he finds another three for one. And Power of Make sure the Unicorns can't make that play. But they are now down some gold. They're down a dragon. 24 and a half minutes on the clock. What will they do next? JO looks he might be in trouble. And he has flash. Righteous Glory popped. Yep, that's going to be Chachi, though, jumping onto him. Hillisang is there. Doesn't They're... even want to use Tibbers. Yeah, he's not getting out of this one, and they don't even need to burn much. Equalizer goes down, but Dexter's there for the answer. But all of a sudden, I think he's regretting that decision. In comes the Tibbers. Dexter is getting rapid fire down, and Vardax picks it up. Thank you very much, say the Unicorns. And now they should surely get a tower up top. Elements are scrambling. Unicorns of Love still pushing on, waiting for elements to back away, and now they can do it again. Kick goes Frogan. Frogan. He blows up Froggen! What was that? Promise Q now trying to get away as Kikis occupies the attention of elements, and in they go. JWoww's going down. Dexter having to flash. That's a double kill for Vardax, and it looks like the Unicorns want to end this right here, right now. Visit Chachi spending that teleport. They know this game is all in the bag, Crapo. I could have never been more wrong. Just as I'm saying, I don't like them taking his tower. They take a tower, they take down Frog and take down the inheritor. Two Nexus towers in the span of maybe one minute and ten seconds. Dominating performance on the unicorns and very deserved victory. Kaboom goes boom, the boom, Nexus. Boom. And elements are one and one in this split, and so are the unicorns. Excellent play from them to drive.